let's do this one. A girl travels along a straight line from point A to B at a constant speed of B1 meters per second for T seconds. So A to B. In B to C along a straight line at a constant speed of V2 for another T seconds. BC makes an angle of 105 with AB. This is 105 degrees. This is V1 for T seconds. This is V2 for T seconds. How much time would she take to travel back from C to A at a constant speed of V2 if she travels in a straight line from B to A? So a straight line does help. So this is 30 degrees. 105 plus 30 is 135. So this one should be 45 degrees. She's traveling at V2. We want the time for which she travels. Wonderful. So we've been given the three angles of a triangle. Given three angles, the sides have to be in a specific ratio. Once we crack that ratio, we should be through. She's traveling at a speed of V2. And so V2, T seconds, V2 for how much seconds? And so we know the famous rule, which is A by sine A equals B by sine B equals C by sine C. So if we take BC, the distance BC by sine 45, which is sine A, equals AC by sine 105. And so BC is V2 into T. And AC by sine 105, we need to find AC or BC into sine 105 by sine 45 equals AC. I'm going to use sine rule here because I know that. If you don't know, you can still figure sine 105 out. Sine 105 is, so this is BC into sine 60 cos 45 plus cos 60 sine 45 by sine 45. Luckily enough, sine 45 is equal to cos 45. So this is out. This AC. Sin 60 is root 3 by 2, cos 60 is 1 by 2. So BC into root 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is AC. So BC is V2 into T. So the time taken would be T into 1 by 2 into root 3 plus 1 or T into 0 0.5 into root 3 plus 1. 1 by 2 is 0 0.5, root 3 plus 1 is what we got remaining. That's a that. simple application of sine rule. Once you get this sense that this is a triangle where all three angles are known. The moment you have a triangle where all three angles are known and you know the angles to be your friendly 30, 45, 60s, 90s, then plug in sign rule and we are through.